Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Porter and today we're going to go over a gun guide on the Farah Assault Rifle. Now the Farah has recently gotten nerfed on June 30th, but it wasn't a big nerf at all. They just slightly increased the recoil to the base gun and then they nerfed the recoil control on the assault rifle barrels. So if you haven't seen that, definitely check out my June 30th Warzone patch notes that I did or you can type it in the internet and check it out yourselves. But in this video, we're going to go over attachments, how to use, and I'll give an overall rating at the end of the video. And then in a separate video, I'll have gameplay of the Farah, just so you can see the potential of this gun and see how I use it. But other than that, if you find this video helpful or entertaining in any way, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. But let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, here's my overall build for the Farah, but let me go ahead and explain why I picked these attachments as well as I'll give you alternative picks that you can do that I think are good options. So for the muzzle, since I'm mainly building this towards medium to long range, I go with the Gru Suppressor because it's going to give you that sound suppression. It's going to give you slight vertical recoil control. It's going to give you bullet velocity and effective damage range, which this is going to help out the most with those in the muzzle category. But if you feel like your ADS is too slow, you can put the sound suppressor on and it'll help out with the ADS. And it'll still give you that bullet velocity, which is really important in Warzone. And then it'll help with the sprint to fire speed, which that's more towards geared towards uh, close range engagements. But, you know, it's kind of added bonus. And if you're putting a suppressor on, you uh, increasing that ADS speed, you may feel more comfortable still using this at close range. So for the barrels, if you're doing solely kitted towards medium to long range, the Spitznaz barrel is the way to go because it's going to help out the most with the bullet velocity, effective damage range, and the recoil control. So if you're wanting to kit it more towards the medium range and close-ish type ranges, you could go with the Contour. The pros and the cons are the same as the Spitznaz, but the pros aren't going to be as good, but the cons aren't going to hit as hard. Um, or you can go with the Liberator and it'll increase the bullet velocity and it'll help out with the vertical recoil control and it won't hurt your movement speed as much. So that's another option you could go if you're wanting to build it towards the medium, close-ish type ranges. And for the optics, just go with your, what you're comfortable with. I like the three times. I think it's the cleanest, so I go with that one. And then with the under barrel, I do the Spitznaz grip because it's going to help out the most with the recoil control for the under barrels. And then for the ammunition, I go with the standard 60 round magazine just because it's not going to hurt your ADS as much. So even with the nerf on June 30th with the uh, base recoil increase to this gun and the barrels not helping out as much with the recoil control, this gun still has a pretty good recoil. If you feel like you can control it even at longer ranges, um, I feel like you could take off the under barrel and you could put on a rear grip. You could either put on the serpent wrap or the Gru elastic. I feel like those are two great options just depending which one you want to put on there. So that is my overall attachments there. So how to use the Farah? I feel like this gun's versatile for the most part. I feel like you could use it for sniper support or you can use it mid to long range, but I feel like that is the prime position for it right there is medium to long range. I feel like that's where it excels the most, but I feel like you could use this gun for multi-purpose if you wanted to. So even with the nerf to the recoil, I still feel like this gun's really easy to use. It's still pretty pinpoint. I feel like it's still one of the best long range options to use right now. So if you use this as your primary, I feel like you can use a submachine gun or you can use a shotgun. I feel like you can use basically impair anything with this gun essentially. The overall rating I'm going to give the Farah is an 8 out of 10. I think this is a meta gun. I think it's one of the best long range guns to use if not the best long range gun to use right now. Even after the nerf, this is still a pretty easy gun to use. The recoil is definitely manageable. But at least it requires a little bit of skill now before you just look at somebody, you start shooting, and you just maybe slightly pull down and you wouldn't miss your shots. So at least now it requires a little bit of skill to control. So before that, it was on the verge of being overpowered. But now with the nerf, I think they put it in a good spot. But we'll definitely have to see the next... Uh, coming days to see if it needs a little bit more of a nerf or if it's fine but for the most part I think um, this is a good place to start. Alright that does it for the FAR gun guide. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Make sure to pour it up and I'll catch you guys in the next one.